So the terracing around here has been going on for the last couple of years and I'm getting ready to make another one. The uh, As we move down the yard, I don't know if you can make it out there, but you can see a channel in the ground where the water runs and it is always just run right down here and built up down in that end by the uh, end of the fence where I've got that mower deck stacked. And there's the bathtub I'm restoring to put in the house, but it's in my way today. Anyway, you can see there's been an erosion problem here. Just look at those blocks. They've only been sitting there for, oh, I don't know, probably just over a year. You can see the soil's worked away from underneath them. What I'm about to do, though, is put in a row of uh, the uh, cement roofing tiles like I've got up above there. These kind of tiles. I got a couple truckloads of them for free off Craigslist a few years ago and I've been using them up. But anyway, I'm trenching along here and I'm just going to basically turn this area right here into another little terrace and try to plant some ground cover. You can see we've got pretty good soil here already because all my topsoil has been washing down here for years. We're going to bring a halt to all that. So I went around to the junk pile and got me a handful of these uh, old uh, concrete roofing tiles. Starting to lay them out in the trench. It's just not a big deal. I've trenched all the way to the building. That's going to be my new uh, little terrace. And I'll show you what comes next. So I've got the little uh, terrace wall in. Basically just a water stop. And what I'm going to have to do next is find enough uh, busted concrete to cover the bottom of that uh, trough so that it, uh, you know, basically all the stone in the bottom of those tubs is for us to keep the drains open, keep them from just getting packed with dirt. I don't know if I mentioned that when I was talking about building a the tub. Then, I have to uh, change the grade of this soil right here. I need to adjust it. And uh, I'll take all this soil and put in the horse trough. And then I'll be able to just spread a few inches of uh, goose soil onto this and man it's ready to go all right so i've uh lowered this grade quite a lot actually i've uh leveled it more or less there's still some slope to it but what's going to happen now when that water hits this it's going to stop or at least slow way down i've got to bring in a few inches of uh soil from the goose coop and then I'll probably go ahead and put some wood chips on top of it, the aged wood chips, just to keep the uh, soil from being bare. And then we'll plant a ground cover here. And all this soil that I took out of there has gone into this horse trough. And uh, so I'm going to have two, two more places to plant today. I got a bonus. I got a twofer. Anyway, uh, I will uh, pick this up again when I get some uh, some soil and probably the, the wood chips in here if I hold out that long. I'm getting old and I've always been fat, so it's hard to do this stuff. <laughs> anyway, just to give you an idea what kind of soil is in that goose coop, check this out. Look at the worms. They're just everywhere in here. I'm having to be careful as I shovel not to uh, kill them. So that's what's going to be in my garden. The, ge the geese were worth it. They were a pain in the butt, but they were worth it. So there it is. Finished up the bed here. That I plan to just put cover crop in there to keep this dirt from blowing around the yard and getting in the house. And then uh, finished up the tub also. So it's been a good day. Gonna be working in the uh, herb garden tomorrow. So I'll make a video of that too, because hey, what else do I got to do, right? <laughs>